What's going on everyone? This is Sean from Gen4 Technology and today I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how to set up motion recording on your XVR Series XVR. First step in getting this set up, we're going to go to the main menu. So if you're not in front of your unit currently, let's go ahead and get in front of it. Go to the bottom left corner and select the option Setup. Within Setup, this is going to pull up the main menu. And the first option we're going to go to is Motion under the Channel tab. So let's go ahead and click on Motion. This will pull up all of the channels you have added to the device currently. Right now I only have one, but if I had more than one, it would list these off and it would let us you know, configure this in a quick fashion by just going through and, and adjusting how we want and hitting apply at the end. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on what each of these settings does and you know how it affects motion detection recording in general. So first and foremost we have setup. Um, this is where we set up the grid box of what we want to be considered an active area um, to pick up motion via the XVR. So by default, all of your channels should have this already gridded red fully, meaning that entire area is picking up motion. If you want to grid off, you can click them singular, singularly one by one, or you can drag and draw just like you're drawing a square, you know, via paint or, you know, some sort of program on your computer. Uh, but for, for this example, we're going to leave everything highlighted in. Again, if you want to ungrid anything out for situations where you have like constant motion, such as trees or constant traffic, that's where you, you're going to draw out and you know, cut off certain areas of that field of view. Once you grid off, you just right click and make sure you always hit apply when you're done so it saves. Um, switch. Switch is where you actually turn motion on. Again, by default, this is on, but if it's not on for whatever reason, make sure you check in that checkbox to turn it on. Sensitivity. This is where you set up how sensitive you want motion to be picked up. Um, by default, it's set to four. It goes as high as eight. The higher you set it, the more sensitive it's going to be and vice versa. Target detection. We're going to leave that motion because that's how we're setting this up. So once you have all these set up as you want, make sure to always go back and hit apply to save. Now that we have the motion configuration side of things set up, we now want to go to record. So this is where we would set up recording um, schedule for how we want it to be scheduled to record. You can schedule this one of two ways. You can either have it scheduled for normal recording, meaning 24 constant recording, and then add in our motion option here, or you can just set it to motion recording only. In this case, we're gonna set it to motion uh, mode only. So what we're gonna do is make sure this normal option's clicked in, and we're gonna draw a square from the left all the way to the right to clear out all of the normal recording settings. So let me do that one more time. As you see, now it's a blank bar or blank slate across the board. We're now gonna add motion. So if we click in the motion option here, we're gonna drag, same thing, and draw, and it will fill in for the entire day for seven days a week, as you can see, top to bottom. Um, if you want to be more specific, you can always click and go through and individually click one at a time, and you know each slot is going to be representing like a half an hour here as you can see but in this case we're doing 24 7 motion so we have our motion lines across the board and we're going to hit apply the last step in setting up motion recording is going to be under our alarm settings so we're going to go ahead and hit alarm here at the top and as you can see it goes to motion by default if for some reason it's not on motion make sure to go ahead and select that option Within this alarm motion option, you'll see a bunch of different options. The only ones that are really important in most situations are going to be your record setting, right? So you have record, post record. Record is where you set what channel you want to record when motion occurs on the channel you're adjusting. So if we're on channel one and we select the record little gear icon here, we want to make sure channel one is checked in. You can, you can additionally check in other channels, but what that means is when motion occurs on channel one, you're not only gonna record on channel one, but you're gonna record on whatever other channels you select within this section. By default, 
Typically the channel you're on should be checked in by default as you've seen on my end, but if it's not, always make sure to check that in so it actually records. Post recording is set to 30 seconds by default. This just depicts how long it's gonna record after the event is over, right? So 30 seconds is the lowest you can go. That's usually a, a, the best um, option to choose out of what's available for most situations. Again, once you're done, always hit apply here and uh, to save if anything needed to be updated or changed. Um, additional to all those settings, you have a bunch of different features here. All of these features, they're just triggers, right? So, so just very quickly, if motion occurs, these are what you can turn on to be triggered. You can turn on a buzzer to be triggered, meaning the unit will beep. You can trigger an alarm out. This means that if you have anything externally hooked up, such as like a siren or a strobe light, you can trigger that alarm output on the back to trigger those sirens or strobe lights. Latch time, that's in regards to the alarm out. That's just how long um, it will continue the alarm out until it stops. Show message, that just shows a message on the screen. When motion occurs, send email, sends an email to the email account you configure within the network settings if you wanna set that up. FTP picture upload and FTP video upload all correspond to setting up an FTP server. If you set one up and sync it with the XVR, you can upload pictures and videos based off motion to those servers. And the same goes with picture to cloud and video to cloud. Under the device section, there's a cloud option that uses Dropbox and Google Drive where you can sync up your Google Drive or Dropbox account and upload pictures and videos based off motion to those cloud um, services. That wraps up this video. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel for future content, and have a nice rest of your day.